Well, good afternoon, folks. It's the real Captain Kirk here. It's the 27th of March, 2022. Again, uh, snowing outside our offices here in downtown Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. So uh, not too happy about that. Cold and wintry for sure. I uh, thought we'd talk again a little bit more about our long-range year-ahead forecast that we've been talking about every uh, few weeks here now. Uh, again, we've been doing this for 20 years for big Fortune 500 companies, not only predicting the weather a year ahead, but predicting their sales um, every mile, every store on Earth out one year. We call it the power of one degree. Every one degree, we'll look at the sun care, for example, here this week. Um, every one degree warmer this time of year, there's a 7% increase in sun care sales. 10 degrees warmer, 70% increase. There's obviously a downside if it's colder. So let's look at the uh, country here. So this is the next two weeks here, here in the um, Pacific Northwest, chart left. It's the warmest in six years, 1.2 degrees warmer than last year. So that would be sun care sales, 1.2 times 7, about an 8% increase out there for sun care sales. They're feeling like spring, not so spring like here in the Northeast. Unfortunately, we're 7.6 degrees colder than last year, colds in four years. So that means sun care sales down a whopping 53%. So really good last year, best in many, many years. Uh, this year, pretty bad. Now, on the flip side, when it's uh, still cold and wintry and we had our heat on in our homes, uh, hand and body lotion tends to do well when it's uh, cold and dry outside. So uh, they do well in the winter and spring months when it's like this right now, where it's still pretty cold out there. So this is how we help our big Fortune 500 companies uh, plan the, their seasonal category sales a year ahead. Looking to last week's summer here, now this big map is a recap of last year, year over year map. Here in the U.S., about 2.3 days colder than last year, coldest in three years, 13th warmest in 37 years, so above average. 17% drier than last year, driest in three years, also above average. 40% um, more snow than last year, but again, that would actually be below average. So again, colder trends east, the warmer trends west. Again, so spring category sales would do better west than they would in the east here this past week. Chart ends at left are the trends versus average, and the chart bottom right are just the, some of the trends that we see across the, across the world here for the last week. Looking at this week, hard to believe we're getting into early April already, but uh, here in the U.S., those colder trends continue on a national scale. 0 0.3 degrees colder than last year, coldest in four years, and this would actually translate to a below normal, 14th coldest in 37 years, so below average national temperatures. Real cold spots will be there in the Midwest Plains, Great Lakes, and Northeast. Precip front, about 52% wetter than last year, what is in five years, 10th what is in 37 years, so above average for sure. Most snow in eight years, and that's also above average. So wintry in the higher elevations of the Rockies, Great Lakes, uh, interior northeast. Have to watch for more severe weather threat here midweek, looks like from the Oklahoma to Illinois areas, and then later in the week probably down where they don't need it, down in the deep uh, deep south Gulf Coast states where they've had uh, another round of severe weather here this past week. Unfortunately, uh, year-to-date tornadoes are trending as expected. Uh, 247, that's the most in five years now. 36% more than last year, 27% above average. Unfortunately, we believe this trend is going to continue all the way through April, May. So again, probably going to be a, a much more active season than what we saw here last year. Here's a snowfall map for the next six days. Again, heaviest snow is going to be in the Minnesota, Wisconsin, Upper Great Lakes there and the interior downwind of the, the Great Lakes here, some lake effect type snow and some snow in the Rocky Mountains. Putting this in perspective again, it just shows the most in eight years for this uh, six day period that gets us into April Fool's Day. So no fooling here. It's still a uh, Still wintry out there here across the country. Looking at next week here, again, if you're thinking about spring break, um, 3 through 9 April here, not much better. 6.2 degrees colder than last year, coldest in four years, and in this case, uh, again, below average, 17th coldest in 37 years. A little bit better there in the northeast, Great Lakes, where it's really, really cold this week, so we'll warm up a bit, but cools off to the south. Precip, again, about 36% uh, drier than last year, 11th driest in 37 years, so below average there and way below average snowfall. Looks like the severe weather threat will uh, shift down into Texas here as we get into next week. So if we aggregate these trends here again for the world, uh, again, 27 March through 9 April, um, maybe you are thinking about a spring break trip here. Again, hope this helps, but this big map is trends versus average. So down in Southeast Florida, uh, not too bad here over the next two weeks. Um, West is certainly better than the Great Lakes Northeast uh, and Europe is actually on the cold side as well. Uh, map inset left are the trends versus average. So with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and we will be back here again this time next week.